Um, well, it was my first ever solo. I was 18, I think I was 18 years old, and I was performing with Sad as Wells Royal Ballet. So it was really important, my first solo, um, and I was in the quarter ballet, so it was my first opportunity. And in the studio, you feel that you're accomplishing everything. I remember uh, working on the fuete step at the end of the solo over and over again. Also when I was really tired to make sure that I had that stamina to finish really well. Um, obviously the phrasing, incredibly important. Um, and obviously the joy because you knew um, I was the main fairy, the Lalic fairy. She's the storyteller of Sleeping Beauty. Um, and, and her importance. And, and so I, was, I felt really confident, really ready. And I remember doing my first stage call and the nerves took hold. So Black Swan, Black Swan was, was the solo and I was lucky enough to come to New York City and train with David Howard for a month. Um, I was able to take class with him, with his uh, professional level classes every day and work with him um, on that solo. It's really easy to approach, I think any variation, but for me, like when I approached this one, it was very much like, what do I need to do to, you know, like hit these lines and hit these balances and stuff. And then um, later I would think about like the artistic side, but when I sort of was able to mesh the two together, I sort of grew the variation as a whole. And I think when you're young, you sort of get caught up in, um, all those things but with this variation it's it's very it's no frills it's no no jumps no leaps no turns etc so finding like a, a really beautiful mesh of artistic and and technical ability was like sort of really helpful in trying to like yeah like I said grow it into I guess what it became when we took it to the competition you know it, we were given some coaching and things so we it was really amazing to learn all about the the storytelling because obviously in a solo it's it's very short uh, it's been taken out of context so to kind of put it back in context even though you haven't done the whole ballet to kind of know what where you are in the story and what kind of mood you might be in and and things it, it feels like a small difference but I think all those little things really add up to to a, a, a good picture you can really tell that someone's not just thinking about the steps wanted to say to all the candidates of this year's um, competition to continue focusing exactly on what you were going to do. Um, keep that positivity, okay? And keep on being artistic in, in ways that you can um, demonstrate your artistry for your solo. So just remember that. I, I think that's one of the most important things because you'll be performing for an audience and they want to be moved. They want to be um, interested in, in your dancing, okay?